Hey, what's going on guys? It's Cole here. Straightforward, quick and easy guide to completing inside the Deku Tree. Let's go. Once you are inside, you will find yourself in the main room of the dungeon, and as you enter, you'll immediately encounter another new enemy, the Deku Baba. This is just the normal version of the guys that you fought before. They have a little more health, they behave a little differently, but again, these guys will help you with getting adjusted to the combat of the game, so I recommend pulling out your sword and shield and fighting them, even if you can, just run past them. While you're fighting them, there's a good chance these guys are going to drop some Deku Nuts for you. These items effectively work as a stun grenade, where if you throw them at the ground near an enemy, they will be stunned by it for a second. I didn't happen to get any dropped here, but there's a good chance that you will. Once you've taken care of them, move over to the left side of the room from the entrance and climb up this ladder. Keep working your way up and around in a clockwise direction towards the top of the area. Eventually, you'll come across this wall with some vines and some spiders on them. If you try to climb this now, they're just going to hit you off the wall. So instead, let's just open the chest and see what we can get from it. With the dungeon map now acquired, you can go into the menu and see a map of the entire dungeon showing the rooms and having a little blinking icon on the rooms that you're in. If you're not using a walkthrough or if you're trying to use this video minimally in the dungeons, this can be a really helpful item to keep you from getting lost. Keep going up and to the right and eventually you'll come across a door and once Navi has explained to you how a door works, you can actually go through it. In this room, you're going to meet another new enemy known as the Deku Scrub. For these guys, you just have to get them out of their hole that they're in, and you can do this by reflecting the shot back at them by holding up your shield. Once you've done that, quickly run over to them and either get the dialogue, or in the cases of the ones that you have to kill, just hit them with your sword. Move on to the next room, and here you're going to want to jump onto the platform and jump from there up to where the chest is. If the platform falls before you make the next jump, you can simply climb up the vines on the sides. Open up this chest, and it's going to give you another new item in the form of the Fairy Slingshot. If you want, you can climb up even more vines from this platform on the right to get an extra recovery heart. But once you're ready to leave again, look above the door with your slingshot and shoot down the ladder that's up there, and then go down into the pit and climb up to get out. Make your way back to the main room and go down and to the right until you come back to the vine wall with the spiders on them. These are called skull walchulas, and now that you have the slingshot, you can shoot them off the wall and safely climb up into the next room. Up here, you will be in the highest level of the main room, so follow the path and watch out for those shadows, because these are big Skultulas, and these things will drop down and they are only vulnerable from their backside, so wait until they spin around and show their back to you to get a hit in. Once you've fought as many of those guys as you want, you can simply go around the circle until you find the door up here and enter it. In this room, you're going to have to go to the right of the door to step on the switch and make these three platforms rise temporarily. Simply jump along them to the opposite side of the room before they go back down, and in this chest, you'll be able to get another new item. This compass can also be really useful if you're trying to use minimal walkthroughs with the dungeons, as this will not only show you where you entered each room from on your map, but it will also show you where all of the hidden chests and secrets are within the dungeon, so this can be really helpful. There is one variety of secret, however, that will not be displayed by your compass, and these are the Golden Skultulas. We can actually get our first one in this room, so go back and step on the platform switch again. Once you've done this, go to the left side instead of straight across this time and kill the golden Skultula on the wall, collecting its token to get your first of 100 gold Skultula tokens. You can also grab the small chest here that will have a recovery heart inside of it if you need it. So go back into the pit, climb up the vines, and come back to where we first entered the room, and the door that we came in from will have bars blocking it off. This is going to teach you a very important puzzle in the game going forward, and this is using a Deku stick to light torches. So as you can see here, there are two torches. One of them is lit and one of them is not. Simply go over to the one that is lit, pull out a Deku stick, light it on fire, and then run it into the one that's not lit to set that one on fire as well. And this will open the door. Go back out to the upper area of the main room and make sure that you've killed at least one of these big Skultulas to open up a path. You may have noticed as we came into the entrance into the main room originally, that there was a giant spider web in the middle with a room under it. And here, we're going to want to jump off of the top level directly onto that web and break through it. And if you miss the jump, or if you don't hit it close enough to the center for the web to break, don't worry, as we can simply go back up to the top of the room and try again. Once we've broken through the web, however, we're going to be in the bottom room of the main floor, and here, there are two gold Skultulas for us to grab before we move forward. Look back at the vines in the hole that you just fell through, and there will be one there. Simply shoot it with your slingshot and climb up to grab the token. The second one is going to be on the grating at the north end of the room, so use your slingshot to kill this one, and then jump off of the nearby platform to claim the token. Once you've done that, climb back up to the platform you just jumped off of, and step on the switch to burn out a little spider web blocking up a lit torch in a small chest. This shows you that the spider webs can also be burned by fire, so simply light a Deku stick and jump into the shallow part of the water, not the deep part, otherwise you will lose the fire, and run across the blocked door and light the webs up over here to be able to progress forward. 
go through the door that we just unblocked, and in this room, you'll have to fight another Deku Scrub. This one is going to give you a very important piece of information, so make sure that you take note of what he says. Once you have done that, you'll see that the door to the next room is barred off again, and this is going to teach you another important dungeon mechanic here in Ocarina of Time, and that is shooting these eye switches above the doors to change the effect of them. So simply shoot the silver eye switch with your slingshot, and go on through. Upon entering this room, Navi is going to explain to you that you can dive under the water. So jump into the water, and on the side of the room you'll find an underwater switch. So get above it and hold whatever button it is on the controller you're using to dive underwater and press it. Pressing the switch will cause the water to lower temporarily, so quickly swim back to the first platform you came in on, and wait for the floating platform in the water to come to your side and jump on. This means that we can just go under the spinning log of death and onto the other side of the room. Once you're on the other side, kill the big Skultula, and once he's gone, get on either the left or the right side of the stone block here. Navi will explain to you that you can push and pull blocks, so go ahead and push or pull it until it's under the doorway, then let go, and climb up to go through the next door. In this next room, kill the Deku Baba and the Withered Deku Baba if you wish. You'll find that there are two unlit torches and one lit one, so of course you know what to do. Use a Deku stick to light the two unlit torches and go through the door. In this room, as soon as you enter, there will be a big Skulltula ahead, so take him out and then move towards the center of the room. Once you get here, you're going to encounter a new enemy. These are known as the Goma Larva, so take these guys out, and once you've done so, you'll notice that there are two cobwebs in the room. So go ahead and whip out a Deku stick and light it on the nearby torch and then run around lighting the cobwebs on fire as you want to. You'll find that one of them leads to a wall that's blocked off. We just simply can't go here yet. So go ahead to the other one and crawl through the hole that you can find here. Once you come out, you'll be on the lowest floor of the main room, but now we're on the upper level of it. Kill the Deku Babas if you like, push the stone block on the left side down into the water, and now we'll have a shortcut between up here and where we got the two gold Skulltillas earlier. And what you want to do here is go down to the torch on the lower side, light a Deku stick, climb back up, and either roll into or swing at the cobweb in the middle of the upper floor, and you'll fall down. Now that you're down in the lowest part of the dungeon, you can dive for recovery hearts in the water if necessary, but once you get up on land, there are three Deku scrubs that you'll have to shoot back at, and if you remember the clue that you got earlier, you'll know to shoot them in the order of 2, 3, 1, meeting the middle one first, then the right one, and then the left. Once you shoot the final one, go up and talk to him, and he'll give you another clue, this time about the boss in the next room. Once again, grab some hearts if you need to, but otherwise, walk through the boss door. Once you're in here, look up at the ceiling, and this will start the boss battle. This boss's name is Goma, and she's pretty intimidating, but she's not all that hard to take down, so don't worry. To hurt Goma, there are three different ways to stun her that you can play around with. The first is that when her eye turns red, you can throw a Deku Nut at the ground, and this will open her up to be attacked. But the easiest way to get some damage in is to use your slingshot and shoot her when her eye is red. This is the most consistent, you can do it from a distance, it's just way safer. And regardless of which way that you do it, once you have her stunned, you'll want to run up to her and hit her with your sword. Occasionally, she's going to run away and run around on the ceiling, but it's still really easy to Z-target her and shoot her down with your slingshot, so don't worry about it. And while she's on the ceiling, she might start laying some eggs. If she does, these are just going to be some of those Goma larvae, and you can just take them out pretty quickly. Overall, just rinse and repeat this process, and you should be done in less than a minute. Once you've killed Goma, make sure that you grab the heart container that drops here as it will raise your maximum health from 3 to 4 hearts, and then step out into the blue light to teleport away from the dungeon. And with that, you guys will have completed the dungeon. I hope that you guys enjoyed or were able to find this video helpful. If you did, feel free to go ahead and leave a like, a comment, or a subscription, anything to let me and the YouTube algorithm know that you did so. If you're looking for more quick and easy Ocarina of Time guides, feel free to check out the playlist in the description below, or the one on screen at the end of the video for more. All of these shorter Ocarina of Time guides come from my larger Ultimate 100% guide for the game, so I'll also have a link to that in the description if that's something that you're interested in. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Thank you for watching the video, and goodbye.